A 21-year-old woman is facing drunk driving and manslaughter charges tonight after a deadly crash on Long Island. The victim, a 64-year-old woman from Freeport whose daughter is about to graduate high school. Today, her family and friends were in court when the accused drunk driver faced a judge. Here's Iowa News News reporter Sonia Rincon. The violent T-bone crash blamed on a drunk driver has left at least one family broken. I do it. I can't breathe right now. We got to pick up these pieces. 64 year old Cynthia Mitchell leaves behind a daughter who loved ones say is an honor student off to college in the fall. Family friends appeared in court today on Mitchell's family's behalf at the arraignment of 21 year old Rachel Lodice. She's charged with manslaughter, leaving the scene of an incident resulting in death, DWI and grand larceny. That's because she can be seen leaving the scene of the crash in the vehicle of a town of Oyster Bay public safety officer who was nearby and tried to help. Officials quickly disabled the vehicle and arrested her. Arriving police and ambulances minutes later at the scene transported an injured passenger but couldn't help the victim. She was loved. She was loved by churchgoers. Her daughter works at my daycare. We are a family close knit. How can this girl recoup over oh, a careless decision by that young lady? And she is not remorseful. Lodice seemed confused in court. A woman who asked only to be identified as Lodice's fiance's mother says the 21 year old visiting from Georgia was on her way to meet her fiance and his mom, who'd just gone shopping for their baby and got lost. She didn't mean to destroy anybody's life. Lodice allegedly told detectives she knows she's not supposed to drink alcohol with her medication, but that she regularly does anyway and gets blackout drunk. Authorities have not yet revealed her blood alcohol level, how fast she might have been going, or whether or not she blew a red light. But because she is accused of fleeing the scene in that stolen public safety vehicle and is not from New York, she is considered a flight risk. Bail was set high at $250,000 cash or $500,000 bond. She pleaded not guilty and is behind bars tonight. In Massapequa, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.